Hi, my name is Tim Poffenbarger and I am a solutions architect at GitLab and wanted to walk through a way around a particular uh, capability that has been requested but we are still working on developing and um, and it's as such. Uh, oftentimes, especially within our new ways of running pipelines, you might want to, uh, while a project or a, a merge request is in draft mode, have a certain set of CI jobs run, and then once it, once that draft or work in progress mode is removed, um, within the the title prefix of that merge request, um, have subsequent jobs run to ensure that uh, the longer running jobs are only reserved until after that draft um, work is is completed. So here's an issue that's uh, that's been created that kind of outlines pretty nicely what is uh, what's being requested here there's another one that you know allows users to toggle jobs on merge requests um, while they're in draft mode so something that's a little bit more dynamic and there's a short walkthrough that I would encourage you watching just to see what this could potentially look like um, and then more specifically our dynamic analysis or DAST uh, jobs sometimes take a little bit of time so thinking through what would this look like to to actually build out a capability that um, would uh, be driven more towards some of our very specific types of jobs within a CI pipeline well there was a new feature that was rolled out in 13.11 uh, where the feature flag was removed that uh, made me start thinking hey that we can do this without necessarily building out um, any additional capabilities within the prod product um, specifically Within uh, our webhook capability, when you when a uh, webhook uh, pay or when a webhook triggers a pipeline, that payload of the webhook, so there's a JSON file that um, is uh, is transmitted as data, is actually available within the CI pipeline. So here's an example of a particular project. Uh, there's a there's a work in, or a draft a a merge request in draft mode currently. And um, you can see that within here, I actually have a quick job that I only want, um, you know, running. I want it to run all the time, but the long running job, it's going to take 120 seconds and I don't want my pipeline to take that long. So I really just want this to, uh, to run only when this draft is not included in that merge request. Well, in order to do that, I would have to mark this as ready and then manually kick off another pipeline which is what I want to avoid I want the second this thing gets marked as ready for a pipeline to automatically be kicked off and I'm gonna use this webhook payload to do exactly this thing so what I've done is uh, within here I've created a trigger token within my project and I'm using this tr trigger token and registering um, a pipeline uh, I'm sorry a webhook and using this trigger token within this webhook and you can see that it's only being kicked off for merge request events. Additionally, um, I'm creating a project access token, uh, which is going to be stored here. And uh, I'll go ahead and store this in my CI variables. So we can actually see that there's a project token in my CI variables. And then um, now I'm going to show you kind of the, the heart of what's going to happen here. Here's a, a particular Docker image that has both curl and JQ, which parses JSON and allows you to kind of query for cer certain things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export that trigger payload and I'm going to grab the source branch, the previous um, commit title and or the previous merge request title, the current merge request title, and then the merge request IID. And then within this draft job, I'm going to look for the presence of draft in the previous uh, merge request event. And then I'm going to look for the um, the lack of existence of draft in the current merge request title. And then uh, if both of those things pass, I'm not going to exit and I'm going to proceed to this curl call, which is then going to trigger a draft mode pipe or a, a, a pipeline. And you can actually see if I refresh this page, um, that is exactly what has happened. You can see that um, this merger merged result pipeline got kicked off and we have this long running job and all happened behind the scenes um, once I marked that as draft and uh, the the secret behind this is uh, this job is running on this MR webhooks branch uh, which is also 
leveraged within um, here. So you can actually see that I'm referencing the MR webhooks in this um, the branch within the, the webhook when I set that up. And then uh, what happened here was this will always get evaluated when any change to a merge request happens, but it will only trigger this merge request uh, pipeline when uh, those two conditions match, specifically when the draft um, was previously there and is no, no longer there. That's it. Um, it's a pretty handy feature. Uh, looking forward to having this built right into the product. But until then, here's a uh, pretty elegant solution to, to solve this need.